A Granbury man is facing an awful double whammy. He has terminal cancer and his family's home is in foreclosure. The community is coming together to try to make sure his wife and daughter are taken care of. Fox Force Laurie Berger has their story. Shadow Gartman remembers getting the phone call last December. The phone rang and I could tell, you know, that whatever it was wasn't good news. Well, the doctor told me, he said, Amy, it, it showed up that he does have a brain tumor and he does have a very large tumor, 11.7 centimeters a tumor in his lung. The couple had been working as a long haul trucking team. They had to quit. The medical bills began building. The Gartman soon got notice the bank was foreclosing on their Granberry home. Hi, they and the pack of dogs they've rescued might be homeless, except for this, not much more than a shed. The Gartmans purchased it last summer, planning to slowly turn it into a home. Now that project is on fast forward. It doesn't look like a lot right now, but once it's done, it's going to be very livable and, 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 nice. and nice. A month ago, Brad Smith and Ed Churchman were strangers. They heard about the Gartman situation on a Hood County buy, sell, and trade site. The effort has grown with vendors contributing labor and materials. Every company, every, every person that's donated um, has, uh, has something that in their life that they can relate you know, to, uh, to what's going on for them. And so we said, you know what, let's do it. Shadow's lung cancer was stage four when he was diagnosed. He's not sure how much time he has left. My hope is to actually have a home for us and a comfortable place for my husband to pass away if that time should come and that he shouldn't have to worry about us anymore. Larry Barriger, Fox 4 News.